recap of what we've talked about last time. First off, the mech and weapon grade update we touch upon in our latest video is now in the game. This was intended to make the gaming experience more intuitive and create a clear distinction between mechs and weapons of different grades. One of the big changes the grade update brought was an upgrade of two of our favorite mechs, Killshot and Panther, from uncommon to epic. The pair were also removed from the progress path and replaced by their starter and common versions, Slingshot and Puma. This helped create a clearer, more coherent hierarchy in the game. Moreover, you can now really feel the power of legendary maxer weapons compared to other, as they have gained a significant stat boost. For a more detailed breakdown of all the changes that came with the great update, check out the dedicated video here on our channel. We also welcomed a new map, Sentinel. The epic tank we mentioned in our last devlog has now joined the game. With its tall shield ability, Sentinel can protect itself from nade launchers and even javelins. So be sure to give it a go. And while you're at it, take our new pilot, Diesel, for a spin too. This legendary missile pro can inflict serious damage, so I definitely recommend you to try him out. A good place to start would be in our new maps. We've seen all of your commands and are glad to hear that you've been enjoying them. Enter them to get your urban exploration fix. We've got everything from abandoned industrial plants to a renovated transport station, each with plenty of unexpected hideaways and twisted routes to explore. And of course, we added Easter eggs to some maps, so let us know in the comments if you found any. Now that's enough of a recap. Let's move on to what's currently in development. First up, we're now working on Aklitz, a new legendary scout. This mech has a speed of 28 km per hour, right up there with some of the fastest mechs available in the game. What's more, Aklitz's phase ability will bring with a number of cool advantages that might be familiar for those of you who like to use Shadow. Firstly, it increases the max speed and secondly, when activated, enemy targeting system won't track Eclipse. This makes it great for surprise attacks. Thirdly, and most importantly, when Face Cloak is activated, Eclipse is immune to all debuffs. Yes, all. Even the EMP effect so you can charge without fear with this map. Eclipse will be joining the arena soon. Keep your eyes peeled and be sure to check it out when it appears. We also have another map concept in progress and you can get a sneak peek right now. It's going to be a legendary attacker with an ability weapon just like Onyx. The weapon will be modeled on javelins, so plenty of damage will be on the menu when this map gets to the arena. That's all I can tell you right now, we're pretty sure you're going to like this one. Next up, pilots, a new one is on the way, Nif. Let me refresh your memory in case you missed our last video. Nif is a close quarters expert who invented a neural interface for piloting Max. Some believe that this gives her an unfair advantage in the arena. She's definitely not one to mess with and it's sure to make a great addition to your squad. So be sure to check out this pilot ASAP. And now, on to maps. I'm happy to announce that we are working on some more applications you'll totally enjoy. Our latest set will see you exploring the most controversial maps authorized by the Macarena League. The site where a whole crew once mysteriously disappeared after discovering an artifact now serves as arenas powered by it. All thanks to some meddling by Rosa de Silva. I don't want to give away any more juicy details, but suffice it to say that the origins of the artifact still remain unknown, leading to a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you'll find some answers when you play the new maps. That's all we have for upcoming features. Let's into the Q&A. Our first question comes from Nami about gifting a coins. Unfortunately, that's not something we have in our plans at the moment, and that's unlikely to change. Next question. Will Macarena come to consoles? 
we've actually considered this idea and even discussed a possible release for the Nintendo Switch. But for now, we're concentrating on developing and improving the game for our PC and mobile players. The next question comes from Jonathan about the free-for-all mode. And here's the answer. While well, we're not planning on adding the mode to the quick match menu, we're considering adding it to a custom match option. That way, you'll be able to play against your friends, train against bots, and explore every map properly to improve your strategy and skills. And drumroll, please! Here's our last question, which is about support max. For now, we are reviewing our current Mac roster and evaluating our approach to assign roles to Max. We just changed Arachnus and Brickhouse into support Max in our latest update, so this is definitely something we are looking at closely. And that's it for today's devlog. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit like, do subscribe to our channel and leave your questions or comments below. As usual, we'll pick some of them for the next devlog's Q&A. See you soon!